Hey guys, welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. In today's video, I am making a very super cheesy pomme de terre gratiné. It's really, really easy to do and it's so good, you guys. Be sure you subscribe if you're new, like the video and comment down below. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. To start, I am going to boil my potato. I cut them in half and add some salt and let them come to a boil until they're nice and cooked. Now, these are the ingredients, which I will also leave down below in the description box. Be sure to check them out. Now, this is our uh, ground beef. I'm not using too much, just a little bit. We're going to let the ground beef um, cook for a little bit. Then we're going to add our dry seasoning in there, okay? Now to start, I am adding a little bit of seasoned salt. All the measurement will be down below, like I said, so check them out. Black pepper. And a little bit of onion powder. Garlic powder going in. And also some dry pepper flakes. We wanna give it some kick, some spiciness to it. And also I added some roasted herbs. Now we're going to give it a quick stir until all the spice are well combined in the meat. Next, we're going in with some vegetable. We're adding green bell pepper and also some red bell pepper. Next, I am adding a little bit of tomato sauce. And we're going to stir it again. Now we're going to let this simmer for about two to three minutes until the veggies are nice and soft. Don't worry if your veggies are not all the way through cook because we're going to pop this in the oven to do the final cooking. Now we're going in with our onion, some yellow onions. Okay, at this point, our meat is ready. We're going to move on to the next step. Look how nice this one look. Ugh. Now that potato is ready by now, we're going to basically peel off the skin of the potatoes. It's nice and soft. You can basically just peel off the skin. You don't really have to do much on the potatoes. You see how you can just remove the skin. Nothing to be working too hard on it. Just spill up the skin. Get off really easy. Now these are the potatoes. We're going to basically chop them and not chop. Cut them into small squares. You can do this by hand. You can also use a cutting board, which will make your life way easier. So I suggest you use a cutting board. I started off using just my hand and then I am going to transfer using a cutting board, okay? Okay, after you have all your potatoes ready, we're going to add a little bit of black pepper and give it a toss and add some more black pepper on the other side. And I also add some seasoned salt on the potatoes. Next, moving on, we're going to start making, look how nice that is. Okay, now we're going to start making our creamy sauce. I am adding about two tablespoons of butter in my pan and then we're going to add a little bit of flour at a time like i said the measurement will be down below so be sure to check the description box i am going to add the flour in there little by little so we don't have any bubbles in our creamy sauce 
and also do not stop stirring it guys because that can form bubbles as well next i am going in with one cup of whole milk and i am going to keep on stirring it next i am going in with some thyme and also some basil you can also use dry thyme if you have some but i use the fresh one which will also give you more flavor um in my opinion and next we're going to keep on stirring it like i said just keep on stirring it keep on stirring it until you have a nice creamy pudding like sauce okay Now this is our creamy sauce as you guys can see it's nice and thick and creamy we're going to put that on the side and we're going to move on to something else <laughs> now i am using three of the laughing cow cheese i am going to add some basil on top and mix it together this is for our topping also so it's nothing major just stir it together and we're going to move on to the next step We have our ground meat, we have our laughing cow cheese mixture, we have our creamy sauce, we also have the potato that we cut, we have some cheddar cheese, some parmesan cheese, and also, yeah, basically that's what we have. <laughs> First, I am going to grease the baking pan I am going to use. We don't want anything to stick at the bottom. So we're going to grease it. Take my little handy dandy brush and, you know, brush it out. And then we're going to add our stuff in there. First, I am going to add a first layer of the potatoes. Now when you're adding the potatoes in there, make sure they're nice and flat so we can have a nice firm base. So when you cut your into your potatoes so they don't fall apart, so make sure you don't leave any holes. Be sure to press them down so you, have, so you can have a nice firm, you know, base for your potatoes. You'll see how I do it. Just press down on it. Now you can do as much layers as you want. I only did two layers. I just press it down. Next, I am going in with the ground beef. This is where all the flavors at, most of the flavors, not all. I know someone's going to correct me, but most of the flavors is in the meat. Look how nice that looks, yum. Okay, now I am going in with another layer of the potatoes. Okay, we're going to press the potatoes down and then we're going to add our uh, creamy sauce on top. Ooh, slow motion for you guys. Nice. Look how creamy and nice that sauce looks. Ugh. Going to spread it out even. Nice. And I said, press it down as you go because once you cut into this, you want to have a nice firm. You don't want them to fall apart. So make sure you press it down, press it down, press it down, press it down. Okay, now I am going to add my, um, the laugh, the laughing cow cheese. <laughs> I was going to say my lavash kiwi. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, we're going to spread the fromage all over. Now we're going to add our cheddar cheese, you guys. I totally forgot I had Parmesan cheese, so I didn't add any. I am very sorry, but if you have some, go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese in there because it will make it super tasty. The more cheese, the better it'll taste. Now all you have to do is spread that cheese all over your potatoes and also press it down we're going to bake this guys on 350 and also we're going to bake it for about 30 minutes you can you know be careful watching it every now and then because not all stuff are the same but basically this is the end of the video I hope you guys really enjoy this video let me know down below if you guys want to try it and do not forget to subscribe if you're new give the video a like let's get it to 300 likes and yeah i'll see you guys very very soon on my next video thank you for watching bye